the teenage girl whose diary became a symbol of a world war. Stay tuned to find out more. Welcome to Days Nation. We aim to bring fun, entertainment, and educational facts about our world at one junction. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Here are a few things you probably don't know about Anne Frank. Anne's diary, which she kept over the course of two years, describes the time her family spent in hiding while the Nazis occupied the Netherlands. In order to avoid being apprehended by the Nazis, the Jewish Frank family relocated to a covert annex in the grounds of the business owned by Anne's father. They shared a residence with the Van Pels, a Jewish family, and later, Fritz Pfeffer, a Jewish dentist. Otto, Anne's father, was a merchant from Germany who fought in the German army in World War I. In the fall of 1933, Otto evacuated his family to Amsterdam in response to the Nazis' escalating anti-Semitism. He had a business there that supplied pectin and spices for use in making jam. Otto gave two of his Dutch co-workers ownership of the company, Opecta, after the family went into hiding in 1942. Just a few weeks before her family went into hiding, on June 12, 1942, Anne got the diary she is now famous for. On June 11, her father had accompanied her to choose the red checked autograph book, and on June 14, she started writing in it. Although Anne spent her 14th and 15th birthdays in the annex, other members of the annex and their helpers from the outside world still gave her gifts on those occasions. Several books, including one on Greek and Roman mythology that Anne received for her 14th birthday, were among the gifts. Her father wrote her a poem, which she partially copied in her diary. Did you know that Anne wrote two versions of her diary? When she turned 13, she received an autograph book, and the initial edition, A, quickly overflowed into at least two notebooks. It is likely that more volumes were lost, because the first item in the first of these notebooks is dated 22nd of December 1943, and the last entry in the autograph book is dated 5th of December 1942. After hearing a radio announcement urging people to retain their wartime journals in order to assist in documenting the hardship of the Nazi occupation after the war, Anne revised her diary in 1944. Anne made some changes to version A, while also introducing fresh material in version B. This second edition contains entries for the time frame of December 5, 1942 through December 22, 1943. Anne called her diary, Kitty. Cute, isn't it? Because of this, version A of Anne's diary contains a large portion of letters addressed to this kitty, though not all of them. Anne standardized the sentences in her diary by making all of the addresses to Kitty. The question of whether Kitty was influenced by a genuine person has generated some discussion, although some people, including the real-life Kitty herself, disagree. Otto made a compilation of Anne's diary, her rewritten diary texts, and some short stories. The book was published in 1947, just over five years after Anne's 13th birthday. The diary became very important because it gave readers a vivid and poignant glimpse into the world of a young Jewish girl living in Nazi-occupied Holland. The age of Anne Frank's death was 16. Although Anne's actual death date is unknown, it is believed that she passed away in either February or March of that year. Just a few weeks before the camp was freed, Anne and Margot are said to have both contracted typhus at Bergen-Belsen. In July 1945, Anne's father met a woman who had been at Bergen-Belsen with his daughters and learnt of their deaths. Have you read her diary yet? Thanks for watching this video. That was Days Nation for you. Keep coming back and stay entertained. Don't forget to subscribe.